Today we're gonna be ranking all the zombies characters from worst to best and there are 28 playable characters I'm counting the 1.0 and the original as two different people and crew But I will be ranking the four player crew with all the other crew because if we rank every single Individual character shit's gonna be complicated as f and it's not gonna be a good meme That's exactly what you're gonna say so uh, and hey you may be a little bit triggered Like why did you rank this guy or this guy if you get what I'm saying so we're gonna rank crew members with crew crew members because it's gonna be much more it's gonna be much better in my opinion and we're gonna be going over every single playable character regardless uh, and not to mention but the shadows man for example obviously he's not a playable character so he won't be in I can say the same for dr. Max as well but you get the idea but real quick these are some of the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I will be featuring some more during the video as well but hey if you haven't to be new on the channel make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number seven we got call of the dead cast or crew cast or crew members or however you guys want to say it but at number seven we have call of the dead now why don't you place this a little bit higher because uh, we all know if you did not know well we had the uh, 1.0 characters I'm talking about Nikolai Takio Rick Toffin and Dempsey they were involved in the Easter egg process so in that regards I wanted to kind of like place this crew cast a little bit higher but we know we do not play with 1.0 they are just there just for the lulls if you get what I'm saying Saying, but uh, uh, this was the first ever celebrities cast of course uh, in the map called five they were not celebrities they were like president dictator uh, I don't know like those terms but uh, we're gonna get to that in just a little bit but call of the dead is one of my favorite map or the first snow map that I kind of fell in love with if you get what I'm saying but in this cast we have George Romero rest in peace to my boy George Romero he's not a playable character but I wanted to kind of like uh, give my condolences if you get what I'm saying but then we got Sarah Michelle my my, my girl my girl you know what I'm saying uh, Robert Rooker we also have Robert England Danny Torejo but I gotta say Michael Rooker has to be my favorite character out of this crew members or crew cast and everything like that because uh uh, he's not that basic because I recently have been listening to all the quotes and everything like that Just so I can base uh, this list off of that and make sure it is a little accurate and I justify myself Of course, this is an opinionated video But Michael Rooker has to be my favorite character from this list and uh, Michael Rooker he was born on April 6 1955 he's an American actor best known for his breakout role as Henry in Henry a portrait of a serial killer that was in 1986 as well as his role as Terry Kruger in CO of love in 1989 basically you get the idea next one we had a Robert Barton England he was born on June 6 1947 he's an American film and stage actor and voice actor singer and director best known for playing the infamous serial killer Freddy Krueger in the nightmare on Elm Street film series so that's that and the next one we got my boy Danny Trejo I'm not sure if I wanted to like place him a little bit higher I love this man but at the same time he was a little basic when I was like going over or his quotes obviously like yeah, he did what he was supposed to do or what he was told to do right so that's that but at the same time he's uh, my last favorite character or last pick on this list but Danny Trejo was born on May 16 1944 he's an American actor who has appeared in numerous Hollywood films we're not talking about one no 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 we're talking about numerous Hollywood films often as villains and anti-heroes his films include he, that was in 1995 and you get the idea and for the last one we have my girl Sarah Michelle and she's just an actor but coming in at number six we're talking about the map called five and its crew members now we had two presidents like shit was mind-blowing when this map was first released and I just wish that this map was actually remaster I hope this map one day gets remastered that would be like so so good uh, but in this map we had two presidents and two uh, I, I guess one dictator and someone else like I these are like big terms for my head like I I don't know but I absolutely love John F Kennedy he's my man I, I feel like he was my favorite uh, character from this cast but John F Kennedy was born on May 29 1917 and he died on November 22 1963 he's uh, commonly referred to by his initial J FK. He was an American uh, politician who served as the 35th uh, president of the United States from January 1961 until his assassination in November 1963. Next one on the list we got is Robert. He was born on June 9th, 1916 and he died on July 6th. 
2009, which was just like a couple of years ago, shit's crazy, and he was an American business executive and the 8th uh, Secretary of Defense, serving from 1961 to 1968 under President John F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson, during which, uh, which time he played a major role in escalating the United States involvement in the Vietnam but coming in at number three for this uh, number six list, we have my boy, Fidel Castro. I don't know him, but he's my boy now. He's an American Spanish. He was born on August 13, just two days before me. But of course, I was like, not born on 1926. Like, shit's crazy. And he died on November 25th, 2016, which was just recently. And he was a Cuban uh, revolutionary and politician. Like, just big words for my head. Who governed the Republic of Cuba as prime minister from 1959 to 1976. And then as president from 1976 to 2008. And the last guy on the list is Richard Nixon who was born on January 9th 1913 and he died on April 2nd or 22nd 1994 he was the 37th president of the United States from 1969 until 1974 when he uh, from office the only US president to do so Nixon was born in Yorba Linda California and out of all these characters I would go with my boy John F Kennedy I feel like he was a great fit for this map and basically everyone on this list it, this map was like inside of Pentagon like you're killing zombies inside of Pentagon shit was mind-blowing I just wish like this map actually came in Black Ops 3 I I, I know like it's not gonna fit in the storyline perfectly but of course we have the Pentagon thief AK my boy Yuri I feel like he has a major role in the zombies storyline I could be totally wrong but we recently found out that Pentagon Pentagon Thief was uh, actually Yuri and everything like that, so uh, I, I feel like if this map was released like in uh, 2015 with Black Ops 3 Zombies, I feel like the map would be bigger, of course, uh, we would have better textures, graphics, and of course this was first released with Black Ops 1 in 2010, so oh, of course if this was released uh, with Black Ops 3 in 2015, the progress would be huge, but not to mention, I really want this map to be remastered uh, in the coming years or in the coming months uh, with uh, the next Treyarch game, but this is on our number six spot but coming in at number five we have the damn transit crew and i can already feel the heat because a lot of people hate this map i personally don't love this map but at the same time i don't hate this map i enjoy this map every time i play because of course if i'm playing too much black ops or too much of black ops 3 zombies obviously i want to go back and play something different and Transit actually makes my uh, zombies game a little bit more enjoyable, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, there are a lot of like theories out there, rumors and speculation and everything has been flying around. Uh, and of course, we have a little bit of proof that suggests that we may see the Transit crew back in the next Treyarch game, but uh, we also have a counter evidence that they may not appear. I, I may make a separate video explaining why that is and everything like that. Of course, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments right now that, hey Skizzle, just make a video dog just make it but at number five we had the transit crew we have my girl Abigail uh, aka Misty absolutely love her she's just fire uh, absolutely love her personality too and I feel like she has better personality compared to other guys that we have on the list of course in this uh, crew we, we got Marlinton Johnson a uh, Russman Samuel Steele Linger and I feel like Russman would be my second favorite character like good old Russman I just love the way he talks and everything like that but there is nothing really more to this list if you get what I'm saying, like they are not the celebrities cast, if you get what I'm saying. So that's that, at number 5 we have the transit crew. But now coming in at number 4 we have the Shadows of Evil cast. Now first of all, Jessica, she, she, she's fire, right? She's fire. I guess that goes without me even saying voice acted by Heather Graham. She is like the real life uh, uh, voice actor and uh, the actual character, the celebrity if you get what I'm saying. Jeff Goldblum was the voice actor behind Nero and I gotta say Nero is my second favorite character out of the this list and then we had Jackie F and Vincent I would say he's my second favorite character and I would like put Nero as my third favorite character because uh, uh, Jackie my boy Jackie he drops f-bombs every single time he spits a sentence so uh, I would say Jackie Vincent he's my second favorite character and then we had my boy boxer and he was voice acted by my boy Ron Perlman I don't know Ron but he's my boy right now okay and the shadow man was voice acted by Robert uh, Picardo hopefully I haven't butchered his name but Jackie Jessica, she has to be my favorite character. She's just fire. Uh, the next one, of course, would be my boy Jackie Vincent, and then Nero, and then Ron, aka Jeff uh, 
uh, uh, Jeff Campbell, who was the boxer, and I really liked this cast because uh, they had that humor, they also were like, uh, what the heck is going on? That's the vibe I get every time I play Shadows of Evil and every time the crew kind of like talk and everything like that. And I feel like this celebrity cast worked perfectly in this list, and I, and I was watching, uh, I feel like, Mr. Dalek JD livestream, and he was playing with Codename Pizza, and Codename Pizza said that he actually interviewed Jason Blundell, and Jason Blundell said that Shadows of Evil character will be something that we may, or not we may, but we will see it back in the next Treyarch game, which was really, really surprising, and I cannot wait to see my girl, Jessica Rose, back in the next Treyarch game. Now coming in at number 3 spot, we have Mob of the Dead. Now I don't know how to or where do I begin with this because Mob of the Dead is one of the best map and to some people this is the, like their favorite map. I would say this is one of my favorite map and the setting is so unique like for we're killing zombies inside of Alcatraz prison and this crew cast or the celebrity cast actually work really damn well. They have a little bit of sarcasm in their dialogues or in their quotes but at the same time they make the whole experience a little bit dark and I feel like that's what we're lacking in Treyarch Zombies and we had Albert the Weasel Arlington who was a uh, uh, voice acted or who was uh, uh, basically Joe was the guy behind uh, Weasel and I gotta say uh, he's my second favorite character and then we also have uh, Billy Handsome, Michael Finnelleri and we also have Salvatore Sal de Luca. Sal de Luca was my favorite character. He was a little bit sarcastic in his uh, way of saying things in his quotes and everything like that which is why I like him but at at the same time, the guy was just like, where the FMI? Basically, he makes the experience 10 times better, and obviously, all the crew member or all the Mob of the Dead cast makes the map 10 times better. And I feel like without them, this map wouldn't be uh, this good. Obviously, if you had the O4 character, then it would be a little bit different, but I wouldn't say like the O4 character would have made Mob of the Dead a little bit better than these characters. I feel like these characters fit perfectly, they made the map unique, they made the map a little bit more dark, enhance the experience overall and everything like that. And that's why these guys are on our number 3 spot. But coming in at number 2, we're talking about our OG characters, absolutely love them. I'm talking about Nikolai Belinsky, Takio Masaki, Richtofen or Edward Richtofen and my boy Tank Dempsey. And I would say this is like real hard. For me to actually put because on number one we're gonna have someone else if you get what I'm saying so uh, just hold on alright so I'm talking about the original crew that we had in the giant of course uh, we started from origins and then we got into uh, the giant and of course the rise of the rise that's Subunoshima, Gurat Krovi and then revelation we were playing as the original character or original crew members right and I would it's kind of hard for me to say who's my favorite character obviously uh, Rick Toffin played a major role and I would say Tank Dempsey as well Nick lie. Uh, Takyu as well. Treyarch actually shed some light on his personality which is why I wouldn't say he's my least favorite character. Obviously when we're comparing him with uh, Nikolai, Tang Dempsey and Richtofen, he's going to be my last pick in this crew. But at the same time, we know a little bit about him. So it's not like I'm just gonna be like, yeah, he sucks. My boy Takyu, right? So that said, but uh, when we have Nikolai and when we have Richtofen and Tang Dempsey, it's kind of hard for me to pick one over the other. Obviously Richtofen played a huge part, but uh, for the quotes and everything like that, I would say Nikolai, he is my favorite character, then I would say Richtofen, then I would say Tang Dempsey, and then I would say Takyo Masaki. Absolutely love this crew, but at number one, we're talking about the 1.0. I, I don't think like anyone can beat the 1.0. Like they were super sarcastic. And I gotta say, Takyo Masaki didn't uh, had a lot of personality back in the days, but obviously Trek didn't really shed light on his personality. So he would still be uh, on my number four spot when we're actually comparing him with other characters. But even on this list, I would say Nikolai, he's my favorite character, but I would switch Tank Dempsey with Richtofen and I would say Tank Dempsey, he's my second favorite character and then I would say Richtofen. Richtofen was alright, but I would say Nikolai was my favorite. Absolutely love his quotes, his personality, and obviously Tang Dempsey as well. Let me know your list in the comment section down below. Check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you happen to be new, and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you very freaking soon.